you know, we've all heard bits about aero statements, we've all heard bits about SMNR, some of us have been on the training. But it's, uh, you know, we, it's getting to time when it's really important now to, that we all start really sitting up and taking a bit more notice about area statements and thinking how we can get involved with it and what it can do for us and what it can do for our partners. We, maybe some of us that have been around for a while in this organisation might think that we've seen this sort of thing before. Yeah. What, what's different? Um, I think we all, in working life, see things come and go. Um, I don't think this is a, a, something that's going to come and go. I'm sure they will evolve. Yeah. I'm sure that in five, ten years' time, they will probably look different and feel different because they will have evolved with usage. But this is the sort of bedrock of how we will work in the context of the legislation under which we are established. It is, it provides people with that clear, clear body of evidence on a place-based basis from which they can work with local authorities, other public bodies, NGOs, local landowners. Um, and it's not a supplement for, for local knowledge and local understanding, but it is that underpinning, in a way, It is quite literally, I suppose, a map. When you're planning to go for a walk, you pick up a map mm. and you check the weather forecast, and those are the two sort of yeah. sets of evidence that you use to plan your walk. It is a great analogy, and um, I think that, that, you know, that is what people will, it will become as fundamental to people as the map or the weather forecast. The place-based approach, localness is real key, it's, you know, that's, it's real key to our organisation, isn't it, localness, and, and we've got you know, a great local base that we can really yeah. work with and work with the people around in that locality, yeah. and it's, it's, it's our strength, I think, in our yeah. organisation, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Try and convince me, somebody in the place, dealing with operational issues, why should I engage with area statements? Because fundamentally it will help. Um, and yes, there will always be, you know, we're in, a, in an organisation where there is always going to be urgent stuff. We mustn't let the urgent drive out the important. Mm -hmm. And I think that I would like to see over the next three to five years us to become much more on the front foot than we are. It sort of feels that a lot of the time we are in response mode. Mm -hmm. So we react to an event or, or, or a sort of set of circumstances rather than getting ourselves into the position where we are sort of making the weather. Mm -hmm. And I think that area statements will help us do that because having that strong evidence base that you can then engage with partners on the basis of should help us prioritise and should help us to get upstream of some of the problems that we then have to respond to. The response of stakeholders is really key to this because this is not just a tool for us to use, it is a tool for everyone involved in land management. So whether it's a planner in a local authority or a farmer or an NGO. How do other people get involved? So right now, right across all the, the seven different places, because that includes Marine, all the different area statement leads, they're, they're starting to get out and about and giving people the opportunity to engage and get involved. And so, you know, I'd say to everybody, take that opportunity, you know, those sorts of things that have been bugging you for years, those sorts of things that yeah. you can see opportunities to fix. 
you know, get in there, tell them about it. So it, get involved is the message. Absolutely, get involved. You know, it's a real opportunity, and um, yeah, and things will change.